Dominic Calvert-Lewin has been linked with a move to Sherry A Club Juventus. Um, Dominic Calvert-Lewin's contract, of course, does expire in June. He's been linked with moves away, obviously, all last summer, come very close to joining Newcastle United, uh, but that didn't happen. There's still links with him leaving the club in January, but I don't personally see that one happening because I just think the amount Everton will get for him, they'd have to weigh it up, obviously, where they were, but the amount they'd get for him versus what he brings to the team for the rest of the season, I just don't think they would allow him to go. But listen, it depends what kind of offer comes in. But the, the Juventus links were there over the weekend. We'll see whether uh, whether they are anything in them. Obviously, we've seen more and more players leaving for Serie A. So, while at that first glance, you think it's a bit of an odd link. Juve are looking for extra strikers and you get him in England International for nothing then. Why not? Yeah, they were, there was also a link with Beto as well uh, over the weekend, but again, more more strongly linked to Roma than Juve, but there was a tenuous link with Juve as well. So let's see. Illaman and Jai exited the pitch on Friday. Uh, Senegal beat Malawi 4 0 after 65 minutes with an ankle injury. He trained away from the group um, yesterday, but the manager said today that. He could well be available for selection tomorrow. So we'll give it a late call. But that's obviously good news for us because seeing him leave the pitch after just over an hour, the worry is there. He's been one of Everton's best players this season. And at first, you're thinking, is he going to miss the Ipswich game at the weekend, which is obviously all we're worried about. So hopefully he doesn't play tomorrow for Senegal. He's sub um, rather than them risking him because we need him. We definitely need him for Saturday. Idris Agana Gay came on in that 4 0 win for 25 minutes and got an assist. So there you go. Everton have today been linked with Santiago Castro, who is a forward, Argentinian forward, currently playing for Bologna. He has scored three goals and registered one assist so far this season in nine games, only 20 years of age. Very highly rated clubs, been linked with clubs also like Chelsea, Aston Villa, and Arsenal. But he looks quite a handy player, can play anywhere across the front three. So uh, the Blues having a look at that. And Everton could use Atletico Madrid's new stadium naming rights um, deal as a barometer to do their own stadium naming right deal. Richard Kenyon said the other day that the club are in negotiations with a few parties. He said, obviously, the brand we choose have to fit with Everton as it could be the name, you know, the name of the stadium for the next ten years. Uh, but the uh, Atletico Madrid got three hundred million euros for theirs uh, from Riyad Air. So. You know, hopefully uh, more evidence like that of, of name and rights will strengthen Everton's position as they try to get that one sorted. I imagine that's got to be soon, really, that they conclude that. Um, obviously, the stadium is progressing really well. The freaking group seem to be progressing with their takeover. And this is the next thing for Everton Football Club to sort out. And reports today stating that Everton are reportedly trying to get new deals uh, over the line for Jared Prantwaite and Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Um, I don't know whether Dom... I don't think this is particularly new news with Calvert-Lewin. Everton have offered him a contract a while ago. He wasn't interested in it. They revisited it in the summer and that, nothing happened then. Um and again, they've, I think they've just sat back down to see where his head is at, really. Uh, he obviously continues to play for us. We'll have to wait and see. Is, has there been a change of heart? Will he use it as um, nobody's coming for him? So will he see this is one in the hand, so to speak? Or will links like Juventus uh, make him not try a new deal? We don't know. And with Branthwaite, it could, is it a case of just getting them? Giving him a better, you know, better wages, or is it really Everton trying to do a deal so that he does remain at Goodison Park or at Everton Football Club longer than this uh, foreseeable future? But clearly, lots of clubs tracking him right now. Everton want around seventy-five million pounds for the young defender who was pictured or put some pictures of himself on Instagram training again, so hopefully that's good news as well. And finally, over Everton raised over £100,000 on in Friday night's Goodison Sleep. A brilliant effort by everybody who spent the night at Goodison Park uh, raising money for the homeless charities. A fantastic um, 
fantastic amount of money that well done to everybody who braved the conditions and stayed out all night at Goodison to raise money for such a worthy cause well done that is it for the news daily give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't see you later